Life is a big school. We all have to learn. Once again, Sinbad the Sailor embarked on a new adventure. After growing weary of his indolent life in Baghdad, he set sail on a second voyage with merchants of known probity. They boarded a sturdy ship, ready to trade and explore new lands. As they sailed from island to island, they stumbled upon a peculiar land. It was an island adorned with various fruit trees, but devoid of any signs of life. Sinbad and his companions explored the meadows, enjoying the beauty of the landscape. Feeling tired, Sinbad found solace under the shade of two towering trees. He enjoyed a satisfying meal and drifted into a deep slumber, unaware of the events that would unfold. When Sinbad woke up, his heart sank. The ship and his companions were nowhere to be found. He cried out in grief, realizing he was stranded on the deserted island. Regret filled his thoughts as he pondered his decision to leave the comforts of Baghdad. Clinging to hope, Sinbad climbed to the top of a tall tree, scanning the horizon for any sign of rescue. His eyes surveyed the vast expanse of sea, but it was the land that caught his attention. In the distance, he spotted a peculiar sight, a massive white dome. As Sinbad approached the mysterious dome, darkness engulfed the sky. Astonished, he soon realized that a colossal bird, known as the Rock, was responsible for the sudden gloom. Sinbad hatched a daring plan. Courageously, Sinbad tied himself to one of the bird's enormous legs, using his turban. He hoped the rock would carry him away from the island. At daybreak, the rock took flight, soaring high into the sky, leaving the desolate land behind. Descending rapidly, Sinbad's senses reeled as the rock's speed increased. When he finally reached the ground, he untied himself, witnessing the massive bird seizing a monstrous serpent in its beak before flying off. Alone once again, Sinbad found himself surrounded by towering mountains. Escape seemed impossible as the steep cliffs blocked his path. He realized that his current predicament was no better than being marooned on the island. Despite his despair, Sinbad ventured through the valley and stumbled upon a breathtaking sight, diamonds strewn across the ground. The valley was a treasure trove, but it was also home to monstrous serpents. Seeking refuge from the serpents, Sinbad sought shelter in a cave. Fear gripped him as the hissing creatures surrounded him. Sleep eluded him that night and only the break of dawn brought temporary respite. As Sinbad rested, raw meat began to fall from the cliffs with a resounding crash. Astonished, he realized that these pieces of meat attracted the attention of eagles that frequented the valley. Seizing an opportunity, Sinbad tied himself to a sizable piece of meat and awaited the eagle's arrival. One of the majestic birds snatched him and carried him to its mountain nest. The merchants, who had been employing this strategy to obtain diamonds, were astonished to find Sindbad in the eagle's nest. He shared his incredible story, and they marveled at the size and beauty of his diamonds. Grateful for his rescue, Sinbad traded some of his diamonds for valuable merchandise with the merchants. Together, they left the treacherous valley, 
encountering more dangers along their journey. Finally, Sindbad and his companions arrived in Baghdad after a series of adventures and perilous encounters. Sindbad generously shared his newfound wealth with the less fortunate, living a life of honor and abundance. <laughs>